Hi everybody, uh, Jen's probably going to kill me for putting this on but uh, we've just had three weeks off training and uh, had a nice break, been to Rome for a few days, had a great time there and uh, then we went up to the lakes and uh, well what does any athlete do when they're on a break and the board and all the fast switch fibres are going crazy because no, there's no action well uh, Jen spotted this place to go to, see if you like it <laughs> begins guys it's our uh, first day back at training um, it's the 8th of October I don't know whether Trevor planned it that way but my first um, round race in the Olympics is the 8th of August so it's exactly 10 months today so I'll be hoping to uh, stand on the track in Stratford and you know do something really special um, it's actually 305 days so I'm gonna make sure I you know really use each and every one of those 305 days to do the best I possibly can just in a warm up today, um, it really felt like an effort. It didn't feel like a warm up, um, a little bit unfit at this time of year, but really looking forward to working really, really hard and um, see what I can do. Um, every athlete really looks forward to starting back winter training, so um, really, really, really excited. Um, typical weather, um, the last time I ran on a track was um, in Daegu and it was about 30 degrees, um, and um, Diamond League Final in Zorik, real nice weather. It's about 10 degrees here in a um, rainy overcast Wigan, but um, yeah, really looking forward to it and uh, let's see what I can do. 10 seconds. Two, one, go. Good work Ollie, it's 90 gone. <laughs> Meadows? Yeah. Happy with that? Yeah, not with the quality. I think I went a bit too fast on the first lap, didn't I? <laughs> I think I still thought it was the middle of summer and I can run that pace. But the one minute. Further? Pardon? Have you ever been further? Um, it's about the time. It's about the place I'm running. I'm four of them in somewhere. Obviously, we do six. So I'm running done. Um, just come down to the track five minutes away. Um, changed our clothes, and now we're doing some core and some glute work. This is um, not an enjoyable bit of the uh, training, but um, obviously really vital to make sure our glutes are strong and our core strong. Another early morning start, um, not only has training started but all my appearances have started again. I um, don't know if you can see the time but here we are, 10 past 8 leaving home. We're um, going to our RAF Cosford today, I'm really excited about going there actually. Um, Trevor used to race there, that's how old he is, when that was the only indoor track in the country and also my mum used to race there when she was the young athlete as well. So I've got my chauffeur. Trevor's driving me and uh, according to the sat nav it should only take just under an hour and a half so that's not too bad. I'm just catching a breather outside the fire exit door here um, in the middle doing a circuit session and um, we've got four sets and uh, we're just on the first one 40 seconds continuous 16 exercises um, and I suppose I better get back on it and um, just to show you some of the guys How's it going Trevor? How's How was our effort on the Good. first one? You're going to be hurting again in 30 seconds. Okay, 30 seconds guys. So hard have you been working? Really hard. Look at it, look at it. It's growing. I'm hoping I can see my abs again later. See all you world and European girls. You better watch out because it's on the comeback trail. How was that Tomo? Yes, we did our first circuit um, the other day. In. Two days later, I still can't even move. How about you? Yeah, my abs are killing, and Trev's put abs in every other. <laughs> what about you, Ollie? Is it as bad as um, we're all complaining oh, about? Uh, what about you, Kirst? 
<laughs> Are we all overreacting or is it as bad as it's saying? <laughs> what about you, Sharice? <laughs> Bad meal, you're starving. Not tidied up, not in the wash it up. Not moving the mother trainers. Hope you enjoyed our video this month. Uh, next week we go to the Mecca that is Font Rameau. So uh, tune in next time and we'll see how we get on up there.